Hi, welcome to Arty Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you a haul from St. Vincent de Paul, which is a second hand shop here, and from my local art shop, something I bought from there that I want to share with you. I'm the Arty Crafty Alchemist, let's see what I bought this time. So firstly, you know, a boring old mop head, but it was a dollar and it's got the same amount of prongs as my mop, so a dollar, can't go wrong with that. Then I bought these special occasion 15 point letters. I have a stamp, these are the just right ones. I didn't even notice that when I bought them. Special occasion font. Hopefully they'll fit in my stamp thing that is similar to this. But again, a dollar. These speech cards, brand new, 50 cents. Something like this costs a fortune in our shop. Ridiculous like 10 or 20 dollars, I don't know. They are useful for crafting. But also when my daughter has to do speeches for school, I thought they would be handy. HP photo paper. I know you can't, it says the HP on the back. It's this one's sealed shut, so I'm not going to open it because I do have some open ones of these. I buy this whenever I see it because $1.50 is quite cheap. And if I ever want to print photos, I have photo paper then. And also to do techniques sometimes with alcohol, I'll use it on it. There's a lovely technique I've seen with sprays that is meant for glossy cardstock that'll work on this. And also the distress oxide technique. And these are nice and easy without much waste to cut down for card fronts. Or to cover a whole card front if you make your card four by six. Then we have these Merry Christmas cards. And this is not why I bought them. So I will probably keep a few. There's a couple of different styles, but if anybody out there wants a few, put your hands up and I'll send them to you if I can. I'll send you a few because I have tons of them and this is not why I bought them. So I guess there's two different styles. Why I bought them was they were a dollar and we have a mangled one so we won't use that. But yeah, these were a dollar and I bought them for the stack of envelopes because they're a smaller size that works well with some projects I've been making. So I snapped them up. A dollar for all these envelopes. I don't even know how many are there, but at least 30 or 40 I would imagine. Then I got some Wallies for a dollar, these pretty flower ones. Then I got this weird game. We've read the, <laughs> I got it for my daughter and myself. I have attempted to read the instructions, but it's a bit strange. This is your moving counter thingy. And yeah, they're convoluted instructions, but sometimes when I see games this cheap, I'll grab them just so my daughter and I can try out something new. And if we don't like it, we'll, we can pass it on to somebody else. And then I grabbed this folder because it was a dollar or a dollar fifty or something and it needs a bit of a clean but three and four ring binders are pretty expensive here and I store all my stamps and my dies that are too big to go in my other storage solution in here so I grabbed that then I grabbed this bag because I bought a bag and it was leather and I wanted to use it for taking my art supplies but it's quite heavy and this is actually lighter, so because it's canvas type material, it's not too heavy. It's got a good space in the middle. It's got pockets if I need to put things and zippered sections and I can put my water in it. So that is for me to take my painting supplies when I get more in the swing of painting again. When I get a bit more practice under my belt and get a bit more confident, I actually want to be able to go outside and paint and things. So this is a bag to enable me to do that because it fits quite a bit in it. I have some small palettes, so um, they'll fit in there nicely. But if I ever want to take like a bit bigger book than I'd normally take, I have the room to put it in there. Yeah, so that was a bargain and it was, I think, from memory, it was $2. It was cheap, so it came home with me. I got these bargains of Prima flowers, $2 each at Vinnie's again. This one is marked at $12 new, so that's pretty good. Some of it's been used, I think, but awesome. <laughs> I love Prima flowers. I'm a bit of an addict, so I had to pick these up. I could not leave them there. This one's lost its lid and a bit dented, but I don't care. $2 for two little jars of Prima flowers. Finally, this is what I want to share with you from my art shop. They have a new range of paper. This is from Art House Direct, and you can go online and look. I'm not sure what other art shops are carrying this at the moment, but it is called Arto by Campap, I think. I think it's Campap, but I'm not sure. But it says Chiwa Corporation Burhad, Netherlands, and that's Malaysia. And then this says Netherlands origin. Yeah, Campap. So it says it down here again. 
but this is cold pressed 100% cotton acid free A4 paper 1075 for 10 sheets for 12 sheets of ash it is $40 in Australia so to find 100% cotton paper that is this cheap is amazing and I also have this pad I have a few pieces of paper in here because I was testing one out I was having a little try of it but I will have a review of this paper coming up soon and I'll tell you who the paper is actually by if you haven't gone and looked it up I will let you know who actually manufactures this paper because Arto buys it from somebody else and sells it under their brand at a lot cheaper price than you would normally buy it. It is not Arsh, don't get your heart hopes up. It is not Arsh, but we will see who it is. The paper pad, I think, was $13.75. So it's actually cheaper to buy it like this. Same, size, same weight, 300 GSM. Yeah, it's roughly the same price. It's not that much difference to get the pad. So this one's $10.75. This one's about $13.75. That's just a phenomenal price. Uh, there's not much more I can say about it. That is amazing. I'm going to use these little panels to do a little bit more testing. I got that one a little bit dirty, but I'll flip it over and use the other side. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more testing with these panels, see what I think about it. I might stamp on them. I might do a little watercolour. Did a little watercolour flower the other day on some super cheap Kmart paper and I like how it turned out however after about two glazes the paper starts to fall apart disintegrate it doesn't like much work on it so but anyway this paper wow 100% cotton 10.75 for 10 sheets wow I can't say anything else but that that is why I bought so many thanks for joining me Go create some arty crafty alchemy yourselves. See you next time. Bye for now.